right. We are at the Andros Liverpool Street, which is one of the classic oldest, not as old as that guy, but he is definitely there. What a cool little light they got there. I'm gonna put this stuff here. That's the little wonky, like all the uh, Andas's are. This is one of the first, actually, this is the first Andas, first hotel of the Andas brand in the world. And uh, this is a upgraded room for sure. Uh, Melinda checked me in or checked us in. So I'm not 100% sure what the category is, but I'll put it link in the description or uh, uh, put it in the description what, uh, what category it is. Uh, I have multiple rooms here because we have an event here and I was upgraded to the largest suite that they have, uh, but I gave that to uh, the, my conference chair uh, because he, he has his wife with him uh, who is here as a guest and he's, she's not attending the conference and she needs the space more than I do. So they, uh, with all, in all fairness, they did upgrade me to a, the largest suite that they have, uh, but there just won't be a review on it. But this you know, room was also upgraded, of course, as you can see. So USBs you got, no US plug though. That kind of, that's kind of a little bit weird because most hotels in London actually have that. Maybe they have it by the, uh, they do not. Wow, and I used all of my adapters downstairs at the event. Uh, we're gonna have to figure that one out. But anyway, so you got some USBs here. Got a couple over there, or four of them. And you got some more. You don't, yeah, you got one on each side here. So it looks good. It's a uh, really tall ceilings. Uh, and the TV here, you know, the funky dark, like uh, on this really are. Fill the water tank, how to make an espresso. Here are the capsules. They are, as you know, uh, the snacks here are free. You've got the tea and you also ha and have a kettle over there where you can make your tea and espressos, which is kind of cool. And then also the mini bar is also free. There are some water, some Cokes, Tropicana, some various things. And with that, no hooch though, because I guess they don't want to put that in there for, maybe people misunderstand that it's not included. You got some stuff. Shoe shine. If you want to have your shoe shine, they'll come do that. They've got some, an iron ironing board, nice coat hangers and stuff. Uh, did we miss the safe? Is it in here? There it is. It works. Got a little basket. Got some. Oh, Japanese style robes and some slippers, which is cool. Then we got the bathroom, which has a separate shower. And the amenities are T London, Darjeeling stuff. And then you've got one soap and some other things here. Oh, there's an outlet. I can probably steal one of those. Actually, I can because I have mine is grounded. We've got this and uh, no soap in here, but there's one soap in the room. I'm sure we can request another one. There is some other type of amenities in there. Yeah, not bad. You got a tub extra if you want to take a bath. Towel rack that's heated. Plenty of big towels. Very nice. So let's talk a little bit about this place. The location. This is now the most convenient Hyatt to go to from Heathrow. And also from Stansted. Stansted uh, has the Stansted Express Railway. So this hotel used to be a Great Eastern Hotel. So owned by the railroad and was then later converted. All of these hotels. So you have the Hilton Paddington. It used to be the Great Western one. Uh, it's now a Hilton. A pretty run down, but uh, nice staff. Uh, okay lounge and stuff like that. I have absolutely no problems with it. It's, uh, you can find a, if you search for Hilton Paddington Station, a review, you should see the video pop up. If you want to check that out, uh, this is the same type of style, but it's a little with a tall ceiling, but obviously it's much more fresh and stuff. Uh, and it's also very, very convenient. If you go to Heathrow, you take the Elizabeth line from here and it takes about 45 minutes and it's without stops. Well, and it stops, but it's without changing or anything like that. You can just go straight from here and it uses the same tracks as the 
uh, London Heathrow Express, the Heathrow Express uh, train. But the Heathrow Express, it starts at Paddington and ends at Heathrow. So this one is obviously much more convenient in that sense. You can get to other stops at Bond Street. It stops here. Just a few stops on the way from, uh, from Paddington to here. So it's not very, very far. But I would say 45 minutes total. Uh, the travel time from Heathrow to here. And you walk outside of the main station go- door and the hotel, boom, is right there. So you're literally outside for like 10 yards. So convenient in that sense. Uh, very hip stuff. They got a nice coffee bar downstairs. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I would say that I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I feel like it's a, a, a pretty decent gig in, in many areas of that. But, you know, it's just pricey. Prices for tonight is like 380 pounds. Uh, so not very cheap. It is summer in London and a lot of business and, and stuff going on. So it's not a cheap hotel. Uh, good redemption, 29,000 points. I, uh, some business stay, so I paid. Uh, is it worth that? Well, with London prices right now, if for, for us to be convenient at the lo- location where we're having our events, I would venture into saying yes. So this is... Uh, Tommy Dennis is signing off, and enjoy your day. All right, at the Andas Liverpool Street. That's nice message from the GM. There's a cheese plate also. <laughs> so there was like a, 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 some sort of a snack here, and then some that's all gone almost, as you can see. Some fruit left uh, unattended, or not, not touched so much. There's a fresh fig and some other stuff. And then in the fridge, there's the uh, cheese plate. We didn't have it last night when we came back. But um, the stay has gone smooth for this room. Uh, it's very, very quiet. As you can see, the insulation in the window, it's like the old school window on the outside and then two layers of windows out. So you can't have a peep, even with the busy street outside and lots of buses and things going by. Um, it, it's dead quiet in here. It's really, really nice. Uh, we had to call them to get, have them come to the room and to put the air on. Brits, uh, uh, it is now June, uh, so it's June 6th today, so it shouldn't be an issue. But um, just one, uh, one issue that, that kind of stood out that was problematic for, for the stays here. So as I said, we have a conference here, uh, and this conference um, is, for, uh, is on Wednesday afternoon and on Thursday uh, for the company uh, that I own. And we have this event here uh, in the travel loyalty industry called the Loyalty Summit, and it's in London once a year. Uh, there's one of those cool buses. So um, the chair of that conference, we, it's very, very full at the hotel. Our room block is full, sold out a long time ago, wait list for it. And uh, when I went to book the room for my conference chair, uh, uh, Harold, he uh, was staying on property because he needs to be here as the, uh, the staff is, is at, at a Marriott close by. but. Uh, and I'm also here only for one night for this room uh, because of the, the, the space constraint and we wanted our sponsors to get fit to first dibs on the room. So um, when I checked in on uh, Harold's room, he was going to stay here for three nights. I got in a night early, he's leaving tomorrow. Uh, we're leaving late tonight. And so uh, I checked him in at the lobby and I said, hey, I have two reservations because it was only two nights, first nights available. And then I later when, when Thursday to Friday became available, I booked that. So can you please make sure that we're in one room? I said, yes, absolutely, no problem. And the guy was there, a very friendly guy from Australia. He checked us in, or checked me in for that room. Uh, since I was paying for it, I checked Harold in. He was arriving a little bit later that day, um, on Tuesday. And yesterday, a uh, day into the stay, um, hotel contacts me and said, hey, your boy Harold here has, um, we need to change rooms for him. The suite, the lovely suite we got an upgrade to. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, he got up to, to the Mac Daddy here and uh, uh, for the stay. And they said, no problem. He was checked in for three nights. I thought we were good to go. And they said, yeah, uh, after two nights, he needs those. Today, he needs to move rooms to a, another room. And I was like, what are you talking about? I said, yeah, we, the suite has been sold and we need, to, we need the suite back. And I was like, but I didn't ask for the suite. It was a complimentary upgrade. Yeah, it was a complimentary upgrade, but we need a suite back. And I was like, dude, don't ask a guy who's here for work who has a 12-hour day. This is the main day. We start now at six, 7 o'clock in the morning right now. And we start at, you know, we meet at 8. And it's a full day until 6. Don't ask a guy to move. He's like, well, I'm, you know, sorry. And I was like, look, 
I didn't ask for the upgrade. It was complimentary giving to me. And now you're, it's a major inconvenience. And then our manager came out and he was very sorry for it. I don't know. I it's just I'm not looking for any compensation and things like that, but I think they're going to do well by us. Uh, the amenity was already here. So that that's like it. This is what you can expect for a globalist. So the dessert plate and the fruit plate, and uh, there was a cheese plate in the fridge that I put in the fridge yesterday. So, so uh, just a little bit annoying. So he, there was nothing they could do. They had to move sweets. It's expensive. It had to be booked by somebody else. And there you have it. So a little bit snaggy right there. I mean, mistakes happen, so it's not a big deal. Overall, uh, staff is wonderful. I went to the sushi place that's uh, you know part of the hotel. Uh, you could sign to the room, which is cool. And the sushi was middle of the road. It wasn't the worst I've had, but it definitely was, wasn't the best. It was well-priced, right around the corner. You walk outside and it's like literally right around the corner. It's the same building, so. But honestly, Liverpool Street is, you know, different vibe, uh, very artsy fartsy, like, uh, you know, like you've seen the, uh, like the artsy stuff here, like you've seen from, from various Andas and uh, different vibe than the Churchill. I still personally prefer the, the, the Churchill uh, myself, uh, but this is a, a, a nice option, uh, which is, you know, usually less priced than the Churchill is when you, uh, when you do a paid stay, uh, but they're in the same category, right? So. I can really totally recommend it, but um, they could did that. What happened with that uh, after two day downgrades? Uh, a little bit lame. That that should never have happened. That just shouldn't have happened in the way that it did. But uh, I digress. It is the way that things goes every once in a while, and there you have it.